Here with Joseph Benavidez, post UFC on Versus Five. Joseph, of course, congratulations on another big win. Um, I gotta ask you, you know, it seemed like Eddie was very tentative in that fight, almost like he didn't want to engage with you. Did that throw you off, or what were you thinking when he just wasn't throwing much? Um, I definitely thought he was going to come after me. You know, that's the kind of fighter Eddie is. But I talked to his corner afterward, and they were definitely expecting a takedown, and that's how they lost the fight with Uriah. And I think they were just really, you know, thinking about the takedown. But you know, it worked for me. I ended up opening my, open up my hands and. You know, I, 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 uh, I took what he gave me and I uh, rocked him a few times and I think it ended up being a great fight. How much in that first round do you think the cut on his forehead and then you, you broke his nose, we're pretty sure you broke his nose. I mean, it seemed like from that moment on he was just rattled and he just never really seemed to get back into his game plan. Yeah, um, I knew I could go in there and just throw him off. You know, I was faster and if I didn't want to let him get to me, um, you know, then I didn't have to. So, but, you know, that definitely has to play a, a factor in there. But uh, I don't know, I think Eddie's one of those guys that kind of feeds off, you know, he's a tough, tough guy, you know, I had him rocked and, you know, I finished a lot of guys and, you know, even though he was rocked and bleeding and nose broken, he was, uh, he was still fighting in there. Can you talk to us about the second round with the eye poke slash punch? I mean, I don't know if you had a chance to see yeah. it. What exactly happened there? I don't know if he really poked my eye. I think he might have punched me in the eye and rocked me all at the same time. I've never been rocked in a fight. And, uh, you know, it just was like a weird punch. I think the first thing that registered is he hit my eye, you know, and it hurt. And I thought it would maybe poke me. But then I'm, right when Rosenfeld told me that I was clean, I was like, okay, I'm back. But, you know, I, I think he, like, punched me and rocked me kind of, like, half in the eye and half on the on the head. So it was just, it was just a, it was a good punch, actually. What about the knee, the flying knee? You were so close to land that. Oh, Are you sitting there thinking, man, I almost had it? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm at, I'm, I always go out there to finish the fights. And, you know, it would have made definitely a huge statement, um, you know, finishing him. Um, I think, you know, I, I, I put on a good fight anyway. But, yeah, man, that flying knee, I saw it. I felt like I was in the air for like 10 seconds. And, uh, you know, he moved his head out of the way at just the right time. Kind of still flinged my uh, leg out and caught him with the kick. So maybe if I would have thrown just a full jumping kick, you know, it would have went right across his face. And, and it would have been, you know, highlight material. But, you know. Yeah. You, uh, I mean, I think everyone clearly defines you as the number two bantamweight in the world, with with Dominic maybe you know number one, of course. I mean, you're you're right there, you know, but you're in a tough position because you have fought Dominic twice. I mean, do you feel like a win over a guy like Eddie Wineland, he was a top ten fighter? I mean, are you going to start talking about title shots again? Or are you going to wait for flyweight? I mean, where where does this put you? Um, you know, I'm not one to just go out there and talk about it. You know, I mean, I've had I've had two shots with Dominic. I understand that. You know, I understand it's a business, and you know, I'm a practical guy. You know, no one wants to wants to go out there. You know, if you lost twice, that's pretty big. You know, it's, it's hard. It's gonna be hard to get a third fight. You know, the only thing I can really do is become the best fighter I can be, fight as hard as I can, and you know, everything else is up, is up to other people. I remember talking to Frankie Edgar. Uh, you know, before he was the champion, everyone's like, "When are you gonna drop to featherweight? When are you gonna drop to featherweight?" And he kind of frustrated him. Do you do you feel that frustration when people are like, "Are you gonna drop to flyweight? Are you gonna drop to flyweight?" Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, I'm obviously. Uh, you know, one of the toughest, probably most dangerous guys, uh, best fighters at 135. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be ass. You know, my body weight is naturally a 25 pounder, and I've lost to the champion twice, so it's, it's, it's fine to ask, you know. But yeah, I still think, you know, I'm definitely the best, most dangerous fighter at 35.